Hello, dear friends. I greet you all over the world. Wherever you are listening to me, I want to inform you that the coming of Biafra is inevitable in the sense that Simone Eba have taken the right channel, the right way, legally, to make sure that the, the Biafra nation is successful. And this is why you see um, most of the world powers today are solidly behind him. So let us as a people, as a nation, as their friends, uh, give him our full support by making sure that whatever he instructs us to do, we get it done without further delay or asking unnecessary questions. So, and let us learn to overlook those who are not serious in this very race. Because there are people that no matter whatever you do for them, they will not appreciate it. Even when you kill yourself for them, they don't appreciate it. So for this reason, you have to overlook such people and be focused on what we are doing. You see that in Nigeria, we don't have any place except to be Afra land. They have hindered us a lot of things, like airport to seaport and many other things. We are so much marginalized, as if there is nothing good that can come to Biafra land or come from Biafra land. But when you bend down or you go down memory lane, you will understand that every good thing that Nigeria have been using is being produced by Biafrans and from Biafra land. So the only thing that will give I and you joy and peace is to have our own nation and live uh, a, 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 a liberated life, live a free life. We need freedom. That is the only solution to the very problem you see going on now in Nigeria. We don't need to talk it too much. We don't need to keep on pounding on it. Those who are demonstrating of hunger, that one consign them because some Igbos are disgrace and some Biafrans are disgrace. There is nothing you can do for them, for them to say thank you. Even if you share money to them now, it will not stop them from coming out to join Yorubas and outsiders for protest. So for this reason, let us see how we can um, unite and speak in one voice uh, concern our freedom. That is what we are very much interested in. We want to be free from the hands of our slave masters because Nigeria want to colonize their France for the second time which I found it to be a sacrilege or abominable thing because we cannot be colonized again. So automatically, if we are to read the meaning into it, you see that it's like we don't know what we are doing in that part of the country called Nigeria. Meanwhile, we are the most wisest. The economy of that country is in our hands. The money in that country is in our hands. Wealth, riches, everything is in our hands. Even when you come to education, Biafrans are very learned, very educated, but you see how they are being maltreated and um, tribalized, nepotized in Nigeria. So what Nigerians know is to eat and drink and die. There is no any other thing for them to eat and drink a shit and die. So Biafrans are not like that. Their friends are very learned and naturally wise. They, they, they plan for their tomorrow. They plan for their next tomorrow. They plan for their next year from this year. So they are not waiting until the problem comes before they will begin to run up and down looking for solution. And for this reason, um, Israel government, Finland, many other countries, I wouldn't want to mention their names to you now, are fully in support of 